Chandrayaan-3 steadily continues its journey to the south pole of the moon even as a Russian spacecraft, Luna 25, which was expected to outpace the mission, crash-landed on the lunar surface on Saturday. With this, all eyes are now on Chandrayaan-3 as it begins its first ever successful landing on the moon on Wednesday evening. According to the Indian Space Research Organization, the power descent would start at about 5.45 p.m. on Wednesday evening and last for about 10 to 15 minutes. If all goes well, India would successfully land on the moon at about 6.5 p.m. Now, uh, both Russia and India were planning to target the south pole of the moon. Well, the Russian spacecraft, which was launched on August 11, had reached the lunar orbit within five days. However, on Saturday, a malfunction occurred and a communications lag led it the free falling of the spacecraft on the lunar surface. If you remember, Russia, the former Soviet Union, was the first country to demonstrate the world's first successful landing on the moon back in 1966. And it was... Uh, Russia's comeback mission. This time, ISRO is much more confident compared to its last attempt in 2019, which went well until the last moment when uh, the 15 minutes of terror led to a crash landing on the lunar surface. This time, Chandrayaan-3 consists of a propulsion module which has a payload called SHAPE on it, and there's a lander which has four payloads and the rover consists of uh, two payloads. On Wednesday evening, when the landing successfully happened, the rover uh, would then come out of the lander and move on the lunar surface. A series of scientific experiments have been planned to be carried out over the next 14 days, which equals to one lunar day. Uh, the landing is uh, scheduled at the time when the sunrise begins uh, near the south pole of the moon, where the landing is expected to take place. ISRO is really confident this time, and the confidence stems from the series of experiments and simulations and uh, critical maneuvers that it has successfully planned so far. Scientists are expecting that ISRO would succeed this time. However, uh, nothing in space is sure as there are so many unknown factors at play. The engines would be restarted after almost a month and there could be a malfunction towards the end. But ISRO has figured it all and it has prepared a design where they have taken into consideration all the factors which could go wrong. ISRO has learned its lessons this time. It's fairly confident that it will definitely make it. All eyes are on the mission on uh, for Wednesday evening when it is expected to start the power descent at about 5.45 p.m.